Unless they can fix this. You got it? Awesome. Okay. Town funds is right here. Is that my packet, though? Okay, is that one working, too? Are we good? <laughs> okay, yes. no canoodling back there. I hear it. All right, thank you. All right. I was giving the cash, cash on, hand on hand balances. Um, the town fund has $55,365.42. Our max safe account has $626,900. General assistance has $144.77 in that account. Our HUD checking account has $5,793.14. Our IMRF account has $580.70. And our T-bills and CDs total $374,489.52. We did get um, our last installment of tax money from the county. Mm -hmm. So that's why that max safe account is bigger than it was. And we need to schedule a Phoenix meeting. We right? do. Which is why there's a lot of cash in that We have $40,620.63. Yes, you need to come to those meetings. The Road and Bridge Fund has $15,230, and the Road and Bridge Max Safe account has $293,311. For a total of the Road and Bridge Fund of $308,541.49. So, thank you. Um, I would now like to move on to the motions to approve our bills. Can I just stop you right quick? Sure. We, table, uh, we tabled the minutes, approval of the minutes, because I'm the only one who was at that meeting who was at this meeting. They're playing like you know, round robin or something. Okay. All right, so I'm um, looking for, please, a motion to approve our town fund expenses in the amount of $41,969.18. I'll make that motion. Thank you. Second? No second it, but I, um, I got a concern about this letter I received, and you kind of explained it to me, but it says right on here, uh, payroll liabilities and interfund transfer. We're not doing that? We are. Those those are two things. The payroll liability issue was um, something that was left over in our accounting system from 2005 okay. and had never been addressed. And we did transfer some money to our general assistance account from the town fund account without getting um, board, board approval. approval. But we, we did correct that at the last meeting. If you look at the minutes, we did catch up with that so okay. that has been addressed okay. so actually both of there's only two issues brought up this time which is the fewest we've ever had okay. and they've both been addressed are so we, we're good are we going to do we have a procedure in place now for transfers yes every time we need to we just have to put it on the agenda and vote on it okay. which is what we did we have done that before before okay. it was just an oversight on okay when we change just wanted to know staff okay okay all right, so that's good. So I so uh, we have a motion to approve the town fund bills in the amount of forty one thousand nine hundred sixty nine thousand uh, nine hundred sixty nine dollars and eighteen cents. Moved by Kerr, seconded by January. All in favor? Aye. 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 I will roll, roll call. call. Roll, call. roll call, please. January. Aye. Kerr. Aye. Maloney. Aye. Okay. Um, for the road and bridge expenses, please, we need a motion to approve them in the amount of twenty thousand four hundred and six dollars and sixteen cents. I will make that motion. Second. Okay, moved by Kerr, seconded by January. Any? I got a question. Do we have? Is that enough funding that you need, or is there something else, or what's going uh, on? We'll get to that later, but we took bids on the project, and we just won't be able to do the whole project. Uh, that we'll talk. It's on well, the. That's, on the, it's, agenda, that's on the agenda so for a later. Okay. So okay. So can we vote on the road and bridge expenses, please? 
Maloney. Aye. Kerr. Aye. January. Aye. And then I'd like, please, also a motion to approve our general assistance, ex assistance expenses in the amount of $1,759. I will make that motion. I'll second it. Moved by Kerr, seconded by January. January. Aye. Kerr. Aye. Aye. Okay, the next agenda item Thank is. A motion to accept a bid for roof replacement at the Township Highway Department subject to attorney review. <coughs> Mr. Anderson. Uh, we did, the, the attorney has reviewed this and approved it. Um, it is a bid, a proposal actually, it's not a bid, <coughs> to reroute the northerly of the two buildings over at the township, at the road district. And it totals $17,025. The and northerly it is at prevailing wage rate. Right okay. Is the northerly building is the office building? It's where yes. the office mm -hmm. is. The office, garage, is and a shed sort of building. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wanted to have that on the record, and and that's the bid that you are recommending that we approve. Yeah, we we got two bids. We had three before, but one of them wasn't interested in doing the prevailing wage thing, so we only had two. The other one was nineteen and change. Okay. Does it have well, to be a prevailing wage? Yes. Mm -hmm. huh? Excuse me? The office shed and where? Uh, there's a two-car garage, the office, and the shed, the northerly of the two buildings. When is it going to be completed by? Uh, this year, weather permitting, obviously. How old, Scott, was the old roof? Very old. We, That's what we I had heard. damage last, uh, I, I don't know because I wasn't here when yeah. it was put on. But uh, we had damage from the wind last year, and yeah. we got seven thousand dollars or something from Torma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Torma. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, at least, but we're going to have to do the other building next year. Mm -hmm. We'd split this because it's, it's just more than we have. Yep. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. So, shall we have a motion then to accept this roof replacement bid? No. I, it's I, a proposal, though, right? A proposal. Yeah. Proposal. Yeah. yeah. And it's got. If I have another question, and my question would be, can't we, isn't it better to fix the whole thing now than wait till later? We don't have enough money to do it mm -hmm. right now, and it actually would complicate things because it would go over $20,000, mm -hmm. okay. yep. and we'd have to do a, you know, a month and a half long bid process. And it would be next spring. It would be, it would be next a while. spring before we did it, so okay. I just want to get one of the two fixed. I mean, it I leaks. Understand. Uh, it doesn't leak much, but... Mm -hmm. If it leaks too long, it'll just run everything out. We're supposed to have a tough winter too, Charles. Yes, we are. We are supposed well, to have why, a lot of snow. So. That's why he's talking if about we have money in the too. fund. Well, last month I had taken proposals, mm -hmm. both prevailing wage and not prevailing wage, uh, okay. to do both buildings. And okay. when they were both, they were all under 20000 until we added the prevailing wage and they went up to thirty-five or forty. Mm. Wow. So... It so there's no way of getting around prevailing wage of where? No, I had that discussion a month and a half ago with Brian Winter, the attorney, and he said, no, even though it's maintenance work, he, he said that uh, in this <coughs> case they consider roofs construction, construction. Mm -hmm. maintenance. Jeez. <coughs> but we couldn't take funds out of the other fund and put in that fund to? We could, but we wouldn't get it done this year. Mm -hmm. Still wouldn't get it done this year. No, because we'd have to take bids. I'd have to... Write up a bid package. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, over twenty thousand shows you have to put out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I just trying to see a way we can save money for the district. If it's to me, it makes sense to fix it, then not fix it and well, wait. We'll get, we'll get it next year. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll get fixed. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs> yes. it's just, oh, okay. So you want us to vote on this? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. To so accept the proposal. To accept the proposal. Oh, uh, let me just uh, add one thing. That that price is. Uh, you know, obviously to replace the roof, but you probably all had roof work done. If there's any rotten wood or anything that needs to be replaced, Decking. there'll be a, you know, yeah. a minor extra charge. So. Plywood. No way, yeah. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I hope there's not much. It can't, yeah, I was going to say, uh -uh. it's going to be more than 20000 then, and then we can Well, then it doesn't matter. Big it won't. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so um, would anyone like to move that we accept this bid? I'll make that motion. Seconded. Okay, moved by Kerr and seconded by January. Maloney? Aye. 
January. Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, the next agenda item is, again, Mr. Anderson, you're up. Uh, motion to accept a bid for the 2016 Highway Department Paving Project with Chicagoland Paving in the amount of $299,900. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, so we did take bids on this one. We brought up a bid package and uh, took competitive bids and we received four this year. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, they were three of them fairly tightly spaced, which is always nice to see. Uh, they came in a little higher than last year, a little higher, a little more higher than I thought they might, but uh, they're still reasonable, and compared to what other people are getting this year, they're very reasonable. Uh, Chicagoland was the low price, and the total is more than we have, about 50,000 of this. I'm working with North Chicago to get them to pay for uh, Bayonne, because that is... Uh, is their road so we're hoping to get about 50,000 of it paid other than that we'll probably just lop a couple of blocks off the list and put them on next time because we have to keep enough money to make it till next June or July when we get another get insurgency another. tax mm -hmm. money and you, these are all apples to apples like the reflective yeah, crack the quantity, control the fabric effect. is the same quality which should be because it's specified. Mm -hmm. And then how can they, how can Chicago and Paving only charge a penny a, a lot of for yeah, aggregate? You know, Baker does that too. I mean, it, it, it's a game they all play. Yeah, they just move the numbers they around. Don't wanna, they don't want to have to justify it and, and, <coughs> and weigh it and all, so they just ah, so a so they just a dollar I see. I see. And then they make up for it on other lines. Somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, because look, Chicagoland on number 10 is way higher than, Man is it Maneville? Maneville? Maneville. Maneville. Maneville is through the roof. I yeah. put these in order. So. Yeah. Wait, Scott, Bayonne, though, is the border between Shields and Libertyville Township. I'm sorry, Township. it's the, uh, uh, yeah. the one over there. Yeah. So you mean Libertyville Township? Not or Libertyville, it's Waukegan. Waukegan. It's, I okay. mean the one over on, uh, off of uh, Bayshore. Okay, bad because I'm like. Yeah, there's okay. one block over there that okay. is North Chicago. Yeah, that I get. Okay. Okay. They've said that they are. E A Y O N N E. It's not Bayonne, though. It's oh, it's not? It's Bayshore. No, Bayonne, you're right. Bayonne is the one that yeah. divides us from Liberty. Yeah. This one is. Oh, you're talking about Bayshore. No, Bayshore, it's the one that if you go around Bayshore, to Glendale. Glendale, oh, gotcha. Yeah, Glendale is the one. Okay. Sorry. And, and most in of Arden that Shores, road is right? in North in Chicago. In Arden Shores, yeah. It's into that nursing school. Yep. Uh, and, yeah, and that they, I could they not admit that, and they are now willing to. They're willing to fix it, but we don't have their board, their council approval. Uh -huh. that. So if they don't approve it, we uh, won't do that. I was block. sitting here like, Bayon. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm that'll be like another fifty thousand dollars off of, off of the two ninety nine. Yeah, that'll come off. So we'd be down somewhere in the two fifty range. And a lot of these things are plug numbers we mm -hmm. put in there. Uh, I mean, you measure the area of the surface and you equate the number of tons and sometimes you run a little heavy, sometimes you run a little light. If there's a low spot, you go heavy and if there's a high spot, it tends to shave down a little bit. And so we, we won't hit this number exactly, but... It should be close. It's Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to spend over... We had budgeted 200 and that's pretty much what I think we can spend because we have to keep money for snow plowing and all through June. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And Scott, how many miles will this? I mean, we have less than 10 in the whole township, and I know you did about a mile and a half last year. This is about three quarters three, of a mile. That's what, okay. Which is why I was hoping it would be half of what it was last year, yep. which was 430 finally. Uh, the, the prices are just higher this year. Well, it's going to continue to happen, right? It, typically, they go up all the time. Yeah. I think what, we, what really happened is we got really, really good prices last year mm -hmm. uh, because the way we bid it, the contractors were looking for work to fill out the year, mm -hmm. and this year they must all have enough that they didn't want to They don't need it. Okay. Yeah, but still, three quarters of a mile, it can be a lot if you yeah. chunk it out in spots. Well, so. one, one more project, and we'll probably be able to get the worst of the roads fixed. Do you know which roads right now, Scott, or what areas? Which ones these are? 
Yeah, that you have earmarked in this. All, yeah, it's all in the contract, which I have here. Okay, uh, I was just curious. I will put you late on the agenda for a couple. <laughs> and sit through our. <laughs> it is rivers from mm -hmm. coal. Oh, to rivers. Forest view. Oh, that's great. Rivers, coal. To, okay. Forest view from 201 Forest View, where the last job left off, uh -huh. to the easterly terminus. Juneway Terrace to Bayshore, from Bayshore to Glendale. Mm hmm. Spring Lane, which is a little hundred foot long mm -hmm. stub, uh, Glendale from Juneway to the Southerly Terminus, and again, a lot of that is in North Chicago, mm -hmm. and then Hillside Drive, and Hillside is probably the one we'll mix. Okay. Sorry, Hillside. That's Until not next year, charge. not next year. Well, time. probably not next year. Yeah. Uh, to save up some more money. Well, we're going to have the roof and everything. Yeah, we need mm -hmm. to get a little bit of money in the bank in the yeah. year after. Okay. How long will these areas be down from? They'll be up and uh, when they're done. They go so pretty fast. Easily could be done in a week, yeah. but they may not work on it five days in a row. It's about a five or six day project. Okay. But it may be a day and then gone for two days and they'll grind it. And then they'll do some culvert work and then they'll come back and do the binder and then the fabric, and then the surface, and all those will be on different days. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember this from last year. Yeah, it's exactly, okay. it's exactly the same project we did last yeah. year. Okay. okay. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot. That is good to know. Lots of work here. So, um, uh, can I please have a motion to accept the bid of Chicagoland paving in roughly the amount of two ninety nine nine, Not to exceed, right? It wouldn't exceed. Not really not to exceed. No. It's just... It's better come in. Yeah, well, leave. we're planning on it. And the, the contract mm -hmm. wording allows us to add, delete, whatever to, to hit our numbers. So okay. And they wouldn't want to do it and not get paid. So. And this has already been appro uh, approved by, approved by, by Brian, Brian Winter. Winter. So that's not an issue. Mm -hmm. So, Okay, so do I have a motion to approve this? I will make that motion. I'll Thank second. you. Motion by Kerr and seconded by January. Okay, um, Kerr? Aye. January? Aye. Aye. Okay, finally, thank you very much, Thanks, Susan, Susan, for waiting. Susan Suling is here to visit with us from Mother's Trust. So stand up. She's the new executive director. Yes, I have been with Mother's Trust since October, and I am very uh, familiar with township government, and I want to say I... Okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, I was with Warren Township for a long time, and, and I think it's important for people to understand the, the value of township government as Thank far you. as the well-being and welfare of the citizens, which they tend to cover more than any other form of government. And that's kind of where our partnership comes in, mm -hmm. is in that well-being and welfare um, of, the, of those citizens within the, that, that governing body. Um, we've been partnering with the township to help the children up through age 21. Um, I'm not sure the exact number of years, um, but I've got to say in excess of 10. <laughs> so um, Mother's Trust Foundation is a private foundation and we um, provide funding for, for um, children 0 to 21. And we work primarily with the social workers in the schools and the different social service agencies that have direct um, contact with the children. They will refer needs to us based on their knowledge and um, we meet each Wednesday and re we go through all of the requests. We have a service committee that um, reviews all of the requests that have come in that week and for those that fit within our guidelines uh, we do a yay or nay on funding and the the needs are then either uh, if accepted or funded within 24 to 48 hours. So we do uh, funding for most anything that directly benefits a child that is not provided, funding is not provided someplace else. Uh, we have about a $300 limit on the funding. And for some examples that have come from um, those in Shields Township in the last month even, um, 
we helped an 18-year-old student who was trying to get her nursing application completed, and she didn't have the funds to pay for the nursing application, and there was really no other place for her to go to get that funding. So Mother's Trust helped to fund her nursing application. Um, we also have had, just two weeks ago, um, a, a young, again, a young mother who was at Evanston Hospital. She had several other children, but her baby was born prematurely at Evanston. So the baby was still at Evanston, and mom had come home to take care of the other children, and she was working um, and receiving some um, Social Security as assistance because she had a son with cerebral palsy as well. Um, so she needed to go back and forth to Evanston Hospital, and it was starting to get extremely costly. The nurses there were very concerned. Uh, so they called us, and we are funding her gas money and her parking fees for the duration of the time that she needs to go down there to see her baby. Um, ironically, Evanston Hospital, side note, does not have, uh, like Lurie's Children's, where they yeah. have a funder who can help they fund have, the parking. Yeah. So the parking can be uh, $8 to $10. Um, for time. So that was something, again, that the hospital couldn't even fund. Um, the nurses were, were kind of really already putting in their own money to help this family. So we were able to help with that one as well. And then there was, an, and again, this is all just within the last month. Um, there was another family of, with four children and they were sleeping on the floor. And so while we do not actually provide beds and for, as an actual furniture item because we don't have a warehouse or access to that, while they were waiting for um, I think it is Love Inc. that may be working with them to get furniture. We gave them air mattresses and sheets and bedding to use so that they were not sleeping on the floor in the interim time. So that's kind of what Mother's Trust does, um, is we try to step in and fill in the gap um, and, and try to really you know make a difference in that way. Um, it, along those lines, we've done some work with summer camps as well. We've uh, sent um, four young, young boys and girls, actually up through, one of them was 16, um, to summer camp. And uh, we also do sports camps. So we did pay, we paid for quite a bit of football and soccer um, as we've, we've been coming through for students to attend that. And some of them, it's really important for their self-esteem, but it's also important for their safety because it keeps them active and it keeps them doing something. and takes their time away, and that's what we will get is pleas for that kind of thing, to keep them active, to keep them out of trouble, um, so that they don't wander into the wrong kind of activities. Um, and we also do educational assistance. As I mentioned, we uh, help the student with the application, but there's also the Lake County Technology Campus um, with their, their, their fees are covered through the school district, but they are not covered um, with their kits that they need to purchase for the individual um, programs, so we help to fund those as well. And finally, school uniforms is another big thing that Mother's Trust does. Um, as for those school districts that require uh, school uniforms, it's often difficult for some families to uh, to afford that, and either that or can't even go to a resale shop necessarily to find the exact clothing that's needed. Um, so Mother's Trust does help um, throughout the school year with funding of school uniforms and. and and new shoes, a lot of new shoes. <laughs> so, but we thank you for partnering with us. Um, it, it is an important thing. We also work directly with uh, Devon at the township and, and doing some assistance with utilities and rental and things that, that general assistance is helping with. And then there's still a little more assistance needed. So we also help to, help to partner and step in on those as well. So we, we, we are private, so we receive our funding. So. We have a Betty Bash coming October 21st. It's our major fundraiser. It's a ladies' night, sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> but, and it's um, really fun. It's, it's a fun awesome. night, and um, it, it does. A, it's a wonderful cause, and it raises the money, which helps us to do all of this. Um, and I just want to make one more mention of our founder, which was Barbara Monster, who began the organization 18 years ago. Um, Barbara was in her 70s when she began this organization, and the original reason she started this was. There was a young girl who was um, trying to flee a gang situation in a bad home situation, and she needed a ticket to go to another family member's home so she could get away from this. And there was nobody that could help fund the ticket. So Barbara and a group of ladies got together and found some funding for her to get that ticket, and that kind of snowballed to where we are now. Yeah. So thank you very much. Well, thank you. You do thank an amazing you. job. We you guys do such a good job. Um, we. 
in our budget for this year, um, we, we contribute $10,000 to the Mother's Trust. And already, so far, you've already paid out, I think, almost $9,000. Yeah, as of the end of the third quarter, because we just ended third quarter as of this past Wednesday, we're, we're, we're over $10,000. Yeah, OK. So, so it doesn't cost, it pays. And thank you very much, because okay. <laughs> other funders are also stepping up and, and yes, uh, chipping yes. in to help everybody. So yes. it's great. And uh, thank you so much for telling yeah, us about the story. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you. OK. Um, uh, the next agenda item is for discussion and action, the setting of salaries for elected officials. But since our board is short tonight, a couple of trustees, um, I think we're, I think maybe we should just table that for now. That's um, a good idea. Don't you think? Yeah. And we'll we'll, but, but we absolutely have to do it next meeting because that's our last chance um, to set salaries for elected officials. Okay, the next thing on our agenda is public comment. Being no public, Being no public here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not entirely true. Teresita's public. <laughs> and James. <laughs> uh, any comments? Okay. Uh, how about trustees' reports? You have something, Heather? I just have one thing. Every year we do the paper drive. You guys have heard me talk about this. Every year we partner with Lake Bluff Elementary School and we do a paper drive that goes to the food pantry here. And it's always enormously productive and very popular. I'm going to work really, really hard to get them to accept women's products this year. <laughs> Last year they would not accept anything because uh, sensitive ears or eyes might be offended. Um, but I'm going to really push for this because there's a need. I know. But there's <laughs> college bathrooms for men, though. I, 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 I was just like, what? And uh, I got shut down because somebody complained. Okay. I was going to send Noah in, but you know, I didn't think that was going to work. Um, that's my son. Anyway, so we're going to be working on the paper drive, and we'll get it stocked up as we do every year with, with a lot of the staples that are so needed in our food pantry. Um, but I'm working to get some new items in there. Um, and as well, we'll have all the Halloween candy in there by the end of October. We also do the, I pick up all the Halloween candy every year and bring it to the food pantry. And I know it's popular. It is, mm -hmm. with people so, in the office too. I know, <laughs> all of us. And so, uh, um, that's what we're working on right now with, with Lake Bluff Elementary. And I'm looking as well going forward to see if we can get some sort of donated, I spoke, I think I mentioned this to you, Cynthia, to start a donated school supply at the end of the year. Yes. So maybe we can start something here for, people in the township to kind of get in early on school supplies for the fall because there is an incredible amount that's left behind at these schools that aren't used at all. Yeah, and uh, well, well that's something that's ongoing and need too. You know, always, to no, I use the same box of crayons for four years. <laughs> so. so, okay. Um, that's all I thank have. You. Yes, I'll have more coming. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, Charles, do you have anything I just, to bring um, up? I wanted to note that I didn't know about Mother's Trust, and I'm really impressed with what I heard, but I, I do have a concern because I sit on the board for uh, football, youth football, and Illinois really needs to pay more attention to kids with concussions. Mm -hmm. So... I'm a football mom. Okay. <laughs> so I, you uh, read that book? No, I didn't read the book. It's but a really mm -hmm. good book out there called Concussion about the, the and well, my, problem in one pro football. One of my with martial arts students was uh, Dave Durison. Oh, that, uh, he, he died. He was yes. in that book. Mm -hmm. Right, but uh, his brother started a uh, foundation that I'm a part of, and I went to two meetings, one to Indiana, one all the way down to Florida, and I must say that um, football is a rugged sport, so really need to uh, look at, they just touched off something from the thought process with CTs and concussions, and... Do the school, I know that from Warren Township they have a Mm -hmm. in place where the students have to take the test, mm -hmm. the test. They have yeah. to take it, but it's, it needs mm -hmm. to be better. Right? Yeah. And, and Indiana just passed a monumental thing in Indiana. I was really impressed with that. So. Charles, are you suggesting we start a program here like we worked with the Max Showitz Foundation when we did the... I think that would be a good idea. We did that, yeah. And had kids get come in and have their... their I appreciate it. Yes. Are you suggesting we, we talk about that something? We, like that, that would well, be if nice. If we could bring in more information that we could look at, that would okay. be good. That'd be I great. That. Yeah, the Max Shevitz Foundation is, uh, you know, for the hidden heart anomalies. Mm -hmm. And 
we've been trying to, we did take a group of kids from uh, North Chicago High School up out to Hallis Hall. Yes, it was told. so much fun. It was really cool. Okay. And we screened 12 kids and one of them was identified as having a, you know, something that needed to be addressed. So it's a very, that's a great or organization too, the Max Shevitz Foundation. Um, okay, were you done? That's that it? it. Okay. okay thanks, um, Charles. Thank you. Um, Scott? We have been doing much less lately because we are trying to conserve funds for the paving project. Uh, but just Rob is going around trying to finish all the stuff. We excavated all the ditches and everything, trying to get those wrapped up before winter. Getting rid of the last of the dirt we excavated. Hoping to get all that gone before the snow flies. Oh, so yeah. It's that in the way of the salt pile. <laughs> <laughs> Can we still um, have salt from last year? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we won't, we won't have to buy salt this we, year? No, well we we took a bid for a hundred tons this year and we'll have to buy at least eighty okay. and up to hundred and twenty. So if we have a really nasty winter we'll have to ration it. Mm -hmm. We have nowhere to put it is the trouble. The barn's oh, well. full and the bins outside are mostly oh. full. But the bins are covered, right? They're covered, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. No assessor. All right, so no assessor. Um I just would like to say a couple things regarding the paper drive. Um, there is an organization called Diaper Depot, mm -hmm. and that's through Catholic Charities. And um, we've been looking for a, a location. We can they can accept a whole truckload, like a tractor trailer full of diapers at a, at a time. That's how Procter and Gamble runs the program. Mm -hmm. But we need um, we need a place to, to store them until they can be distributed, and that's been something that's you know we haven't been able to find that. So I would like just to sort of make an appeal to the community, tell your friends, check and see. Again, I mean this is we've been looking for a while. I've been talking to everybody I know about you know in the real estate field about um, finding a free warehouse space that would accommodate a full tractor trailer that has a truck dock that we could back the thing up to and just put Do the diapers exist? in. Yeah. Check with North Chicago School District. They have that building. Lots of buildings. By cool. Okay, I will. Thank you. Lots yeah. of buildings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will see if I can find a person to ask about that. All right, uh, food contributions. We are at that unhappy point with, I, I think if you looked at our Facebook page, a little while ago, I had a no soup for you rant about soup. Uh, we're very low on canned goods and, and shelf food right now. Normally, people bring in a lot of food at Thanksgiving time, and we're hoping that that happens again. But between now and then, uh, we would be grateful for any donations that uh, you may be able to bring in for us. We are going to be giving out turkeys again this year, a um, 100 turkeys we have ordered from the Northern Illinois Food Bank and that's not just the turkey, a turkey in a box of fixings. Mm -hmm. And so um, our office is going to be reaching out to people to take reservations for those turkeys and the day that they're going to be distributed is the, it's the Monday before the week of Thanksgiving. Not the Monday of the week, yeah. but the Monday before the week of Thanksgiving. So um, that's going to be taking place then. And that's, I guess that's really all I have for right now. Cynthia, are we going to um, do the, the soup drive again over the holidays? Remember you and I went that day to the high school and picked up? The, it's not a soup drive, even to the general. Just the canned the, I mean the the can can, food yeah, drive. Soup on the brand. Um, yes. Um, that, remember that day? Sure, of course. Um, the We and have Leanne. reached out to Leanne yeah, to okay. find out if she's planning. Usually um, the study hall group from... Lake Forest High School has in the last three years in a row anyway and before that too I think uh, was very generous in, in uh, having really a, a collection for us they, they turned it into a competition so naturally it was more interesting and we got tons of food so that oh, I'm hoping that Leanne will do that she'll again do this it. year she's good so about yeah but but I, Rosie, Rosie and I were talking about that uh, okay. she's, she's on it so we'll see about that well, that's one of the big contributions that comes in around Thanksgiving or between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Christmas yeah. okay. So, okay, any thank other you. questions or? I'm trying to give you that date. Oh, thank you. I, I think, think it's, it's the 18th. 18th. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about yesterday. Yeah. 
the Monday before the Monday before the week of Thanksgiving. It's not the Monday before Thanksgiving. It's the Monday before the Monday the fourteenth. Okay. The four. Thank you. November fourteenth. It is early. Okay. So, barring any further discussion, I did have something one more to comment. Thing? Okay. Um, it, it it tickles no. my brain to. No? Okay. <laughs> it, it Cynthia and trustee and clerk and public. It tickles my brain to say that we do have an up and coming election. We also have packets for trustees coming up. We have packets for everything. Everything. If, if so anybody wants to run for please anything, please come and get packets. Come and get it. We need your involvement. We need five thousand people in our district to do something. That's a good idea. Make us more important. Less than five thousand. We can talk about it, but our congressmen and senators, they don't hear us. They hear us when we have more than five thousand people in our local show up in the local elections. elections. That's real important. Voters, right. That's that's monumentally important. So, and and if anybody wants to run for anything, please, um, we do have petitions in the office, and uh, this is the the period now you can start circulating those petitions. It's a lot of fun. It is. You get to meet a lot of fun people, interesting, nice people. So, thank you, Charles. Is there anything else? No. no? But okay. thank you. All right. So, uh, barring any other discussion, uh, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. I will second that motion. Thank you, All Charles. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you so much.